Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Bill Way versus Sean Killian, and this is going to be a $100 Iron Man. The winning team is going to win $100, the losing team is going to lose $100. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord link down below in the description if you want to play in any money matches, Iron Mans, or any of the tournaments that I host. Also, make sure to check out Sean Killian's YouTube channel link down below in the description. Now, we will go ahead and see Bill Way win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot and decide to go first, 43 versus 42. Opening hands, we have Diviner, Barrier, Pot of Prosperity, Veiler, Moonlit. They have Bestial, Magma, Imperm, Bonfire, Black Witch, and Flame Bridge. So they do main deck Magma in their deck. Uh, maybe this means they play Sir Arvis in the deck too, or maybe they're just playing uh, Flame Bridge as their only target. Maybe it's another Bestial. Uh, okay, so now they're going to go ahead and start with Normal Summon Diviner, Effect, Chain Imperm, Activate Pot of Prosperity to go ahead and Banish, and then go ahead and look at the top six. So, uh... What do you even grab here? Do you just grab Safara so that way Barrier grabs low? Yeah, yeah, grab that. Then put the rest of the cards back to the bottom of the deck there. Okay, now we're going to go Safara, discard, dump, go ahead, grab out the Ritual Monster. Also, somebody told me I was saying this name wrong, so I, I'm going to learn how to say it properly. Just, you know, I, I will. Trust, trust, trust. Activate Barrier. Barrier effect. We're gonna chain magma mutt. Said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm about to say, are we? I was about to say, there's no shower doing that before barrier, right? Feel like you would do that on resolution of that. Yeah, so they're gonna go banish special effect to go search during the end phase. Now activate barrier, barrier effect. Go ahead, grab out blessing. Activate blessing to grab back the dragon queen there. And then we just pass turn. Uh, they draw ghost ogre. So on their turn, if they summon, wait, they're supposed to search, but. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's no shot they only play one flame bridge in their deck, so they definitely have a target, but on their turn, we have Blessing to Tribute Diviner plus Queen, bring out Skull Guardian, and then we get Diviner Effect to go summon low, low, bring out Trap, now Skull Guardian's live, we have the Trap and everything, they said Magma, so just put back, I trust you, okay, I yeah, grab out Drew Swarm, you know what, 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 did they, did they, yeah, they put back the right one, okay, just, just making sure, just making sure, but grab out Drew Swarm, then draw Divine Temple, activate the Bonfire, oh, Ogre would have been so good too, uh, Bonfire, grab out Snake Eye Ash, Normal Summon Snake Eye Ash, Effect, Chain Blessing, and then Chain Veiler, so shut down Snake Eye Ash, and then bring out Skull Guardian, and then uh, Skull Guardian, Diviner, we're going to change Ruus Worm to go ahead and hit the Queen out of the graveyard. We just want to set up the body uh, before they set up the negate. So now bring out Low, Low Effect, uh, well, they get Skull Guardian to resolve, so bring out Radiance, search out Sir Arvis. Okay, that's fine. Activate Divine Temple to go place Chain Trap to pop Divine Temple. Yeah, and now they make a Anima. Okay, that is good. And then they link off to go summon out SP. SP effect to try to banish barrier. And then they Skull Guardian to negate that. Yeah, it's like they want to get rid of barrier. Then they have Jerusalem to out the interruption. Um, but yeah, SP is going to get stopped there. They're not going to chain it because then they're going to have to banish itself plus Jerusalem. Now they're going to go send Jerusalem, summon Black Witch. Now Black Witch effect to go set. So go ahead, set the original Sinful Spoil, activate original, send, bring out Oak, and then Oak Chain Link 1, Moonlit Chain Link 2, on to game number 2. Uh, they said, yeah, I know. Said, was last card Flame Burge? Yes. No, no, I wasn't flaming you. You should. It's okay, you're still the goat in my eyes. Yeah, are they saying that they just, like, played it wrong and shouldn't have gone for SP? Huh, I wonder what the, yeah, I know was for their um but on to the next game now uh we'll go ahead and see sean killian go first we have moon Lichel, imperm ash queen nib <sighs> okay that's pretty solid that skill drain snake eye ash wanted ash blossom snake eye ash so yeah we got skill drain here oh that card can definitely try to carry us here uh snake eye ash imperm wanted go search out black witch and then we're going to go discard Snake Eye Ash, special effect, chain Moonlit, chill on that, set skill drain, pass, they draw Ash Blossom, now activate Queen, and then they just Ash Blossom that, so put them on better be able to play, which they can't. 
Uh, so now we just pass turn. They draw one for one, which obviously won't work here. Uh, so they don't really have a lot of good plays. I mean, they could activate Snake Eye, Ash Effect, the Sun. Uh, we're going to go Battle Phase, Attack, Attack. We might also just Attack and then Snake Eye, Ash Effect. Try to get damage in before we potentially play into an Ash. But nope. Okay, we just go set one for one. Pass. They draw Branded Fusion. Okay, so now activate Branded Fusion. Dump a low, dump a Fallen of Albaz, bring out Albion, activate Albion effect, and then we know this is going to get stopped, just whether it's like Skill Drain or Imperm or something. Uh, then Battle Phase, beat over Snake Eye Ash, and then pass turn, they draw Divine Temple, activate Divine Temple, Spell Trap Zone Flame Bird, so now if the opponent summons, we get a huge body that's going to be able to bring back out multiple bodies, and we're under Skill Drain. They can't crash with Black Witch, otherwise Black Witch will get the send and special out. Uh, they draw Saravus, so it's a pretty bad spot for Bill Way here overall. Uh, so we're just going to have to pass. They draw Black Witch, summon Black Witch, send Flame Burge, and then activate Flame Burge Black Witch. Just activating the Black Witch effect so that way we don't get hit with Bell. Now Special Summon back out from Graveyard. Battle Phase, Crash, and yeah, they just submit the feet. Said maybe I can draw more than one hand trap in this game 3. Said I'm going to brick, don't worry. Oh, okay. Let's find out. Do they brick and do they draw double hand trap? We have Nib, Branded Fusion, Valor, Pre Prep, Pot of Prosperity. Definitely not a brick. They have Druid Swarm, Bonfire, Ash, Valor, Black Witch. All right, fair enough. Both players draw a pretty good hand here. Uh, they're gonna go Branded Fusion, Chain Ash Blossom, activate Pre Prep, go search out the Prayer, search out Skull Guardian. That's fine. And now activate Pot of Prosperity uh, to go ahead and banish six. Uh, so we don't actually banish any of the branded stuff there, which we could have done, uh, but we're just going to banish all the links. Well, not all of them, but, you know, a bunch of links. And then look at the top six cards. So we hit the barrier there. Uh, so grab the barrier and then put the rest of the cards back to the bottom of the deck now. And then we can go activate barrier, barrier effect. Go search out low. Activate ritual spell. You don't want to normal summon low there. You know, this is just how you play around a bestial. Otherwise, like, you play in the bestial if you go normal summon, then ritual off. And then low effect the summon back out. They drew a swarm it, and now you can't really get low back onto the field there. Well, I guess you could, because we could bring out trap there. Um, but yeah, you normally just stop it. But okay, they're going to Valor and drew a swarm, which is tough. So now we just have to go ahead and pass, but at least we have follow-up off barrier, and then we still have Nib plus Valor. Uh, they draw Talons. Sheesh. Bonfire, search out Snake Eye Ash. Normal Snake Eye Ash effect, we Valor it, and now they have Talons to look at hand, which is just ridiculous. Uh, Sun Snake Eye Ash, summon Black Witch effect. Yeah, and they just go ahead and emit the feet there. Um, I mean, that was just insane. <laughs> I mean, their hand was like almost perfect. Uh, but okay, on to the next match now. We have Red Duck versus Sean Killian. Uh, so we're not going to see the Bill Way sweep. Uh, now we will go ahead and see Sean Killian win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And they will decide to go first, 41 versus 42. We have Ariana, Lovely, Trap Trick, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, and Big Welcome Labyrinth. They have Poplar, Ogre, Droll, Bestial, Magmamut, Snake Eye, Ash. So the Droll and Ogre aren't the greatest against this deck. Magma Mud is. Magma Mud's pretty good. Um, normal summon that Snake Eye Ash effect. We don't have any hand traps, so this will just combo here. Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, Poplar effect, go search. Uh, go ahead, grab out the Divine Temple. Activate Divine Temple to go place Oak. Snake Eye Ash, send, go summon. Bring out Flame Burge, and then link off into a IP. Now Flame Burge, Poplar, special summon back out, spell trap zone, and then Oak effect summon back out from the graveyard. Then anything on that summon. Last time we saw them go for a Sunlight Wolf into Heat Soul, yup, and it looks like they are going to continue to do that again here. So now go ahead and make the Heat Soul, and then Oak effect send. I wonder if there's a better link to Cyber, so it's not dark that you could make there. That would get you more value. Obviously, Sunlight Wolf has other purposes. Like, you know, in this combo, its only purpose is it's the Cybers. But in other combos, you could probably summon this and, like, add back Oak or Ash or something. But I wonder if there's a better thing to go for there. But they bring out Flame Burge. Flame Burge effect spell traps on IP. Heat Soul, pay 1,000, go draw. Draws into an Effect Veiler. That's a pretty good draw there. That stops the Ariana. 
pass, draw Butler. Okay. Uh, now Heat Soul, pay a thousand to draw, draws Bonfire. Main phase, uh, they're thinking normal summon out Ariana, effect, chain Valor onto that. And then on resolution, they were thinking if they want a flame bird summon out IP uh, to try to beat Sky Crisis, but it's fine because we have Divine Temple, so now we can just go activate Divine Temple summon IP and then IP effect to go ahead and link off into SP using itself plus heat. So you want to leave the flame birds there because flame birds graveyard effect won't trigger while Sky Crisis is doing its thing. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and make SP, okay, SP effect, banish Sky Crisis, and then chain link two Magma Mutt onto the Veiler in their graveyard, and then summon out, effect to search during the end phase, okay, and now activate the field spell, uh, set traps, okay, yeah, and that's, is that gonna be it? Really? Um... I guess we could Butler summon out Lovely, and then Lovely go battle phase beat over. Nothing stopping us there, they don't have Princess in their graveyard. But we're just gonna pass- oh wait. Duh. Sky Crisis, that's what's stopping us. Uh, pass, they draw infinite impermanence there. So now, they're gonna go main phase. Yup. Uh, now what do they want to do here to start attacking this back row? Uh, they're gonna go Link Off, make Nightmare Phoenix. You probably don't even hit a back row card, right? You probably just hit Field Spell. Effect, discard, draw, hit Field Spell. Yeah, go ahead, wipe that out. Like, hitting a back row, you know, it's kind of like 50-50. I don't know if it's even gonna work. You know, hitting Field Spell, you're, like, guaranteed getting rid of that resource. And that card's really good in, like, the grind game, too. Uh, if it does get to that point. Uh, but we do have a lot of bodies here that we have access to. We're gonna go activate Bonfire to go search. Yeah. Okay, maybe also should have discarded Poplar. The more I think about it, so we could Poplar, like Spell Trap Zone, Heat Soul, so that way if they summon, then we get Divine Temple effect to bring out Heat Soul. Uh, but now we're gonna go Bonfire into Snake Eye Ash. Uh, normal summon Snake Eye Ash, effect the Snake Eye Ash, go search out Jet Synchron. Okay, uh, that's fine. And then, yeah, they're thinking of what they want to do here. Uh, activate Druus Worm. Go banish Ariana. And then special out. Sure. That's fine. Uh, now link off all those into access code. Okay. Okay. Access code effect, gang attack. And then on resolution, our opponent's forced to do something. Otherwise, we're just going to pop both their back row. Uh, but they said okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, then on resolution... Butler effect, get rid of itself, summon out Lovely from hand, now activate Big Welcome Labyrinth, and then that's fine, so go Summon Lady, Bounce Back Lady, New Chain Link, activate Just Lovely effect, which we could chain Ghost Ogre to just to get the body off field, I don't know if it's the best though, but you could get the body off field, they will get to summon out Butler though, which I don't think Butler is really a problem. Um, but okay, they're just gonna let the access code get popped. Now, Flame Birds affect the spell Trap Zone, lovely, which is like just getting rid of that card. Uh, I guess like technically we have Divine Temple that could end up summoning that card out. I doubt we will though. Maybe in like a turn or two, like when Imperm's in Graver, we could try to special it back out and then set our Imperm. Uh, but now. Battle phase, attack. Also, something cool that can come up, it doesn't come up very often, but Lovely says you have to have a fiend to activate the trap, but Princess is a fiend, so you can actually go Lovely, link off Lovely after using its effect to reset a trap, and then later on when you Princess, the trap can be live again. Very niche scenario, but just want to bring it up. Now set Imperm, and then go to end phase, Lady effect, special summon itself out. Yeah, that's pretty good yeah go ahead bring that out okay i don't know i didn't i didn't really like the way sean killian fully played this out i feel like we should have definitely just like got rid of flame bridge at some point like we probably should have linked off like maybe instead of summon druus worm it's just flame bridge to make access code and then bring out tons of bodies the only problem is you start playing in the karma cannon really hard so it's like, maybe that's what they were trying to avoid. But then, don't they already play in the Karma Cannon really hard? Because if you just wipe access code, then Flame Bridge doesn't do anything. Yeah, so they already played in the Karma Cannon really hard. So if you're going to play into it really hard, you may as well play it into... You may as well play into it really hard that... The way that gives you, like, four extra bodies on your field. 
But now, Trap Trick, Chain Lady, uh, then they're thinking about Chaining Ogre, uh, now Chain Butler to summon, yup, now Lady will be destroyed, go ahead, Banish, set Welcome, Lady to set Big Welcome, okay, now activate Welcome Labyrinth to go summon, bring out Ariana, Ariana effect to go search, because now it just looks like there's no shot, like there's no way the Labyrinth player ends up losing this game now, right? So, Ariana, grab out Stovey Torby, then pass, draw Chandelier, sheesh, now we got the Furniture in rotation too, make Chaos Angel, Chaos Angel effect, the Banish Flame Burge, uh, if they chain Imperm, we chain Big Welcome for sure here, like almost for sure, right? They're thinking? I feel like, okay, I mean, you know, obviously they're thinking about this really hard, but I was gonna say, like, getting rid of that Flame Burge is huge. That's so much of their follow-up gone. That's like, their engine is like crippling now because of that. Uh, then they're going to go ahead and chain Flame Burge to summon out Lovely. Chain Butler to summon itself out. So they summon out Lovely. Uh, also, they added Jet Synchron last turn. And since they didn't add Poplar to get the free body, you can kind of just assume that they have Poplar in hand. So I think that's a pretty easy read, and then we know this card in hand. So we we should know both cards in hand realistically here. Then they're going to summon out Lady, bounce back Chaos Angel, new chain link, welcome effect. So they actually don't chain the furniture in response to that chain there. Because they could have chained a furniture, and then big welcome would bounce, and then the furniture would go ahead like special add back. So we could have chained chandelier effect there if we wanted to in response to that chain. Now we're going to go battle phase, beat over, and then attack directly. Now main phase 2, we're going to link off, make a muckraker, muckraker effect, summon back out lovely, and shot and miss defeat there. Okay, nice, well played by Labyrinth there. Uh, on to the next game, we got Karma Cannon, Ariana, Karma Cannon, Backjack, Chandelier, sheesh. So we have an opportunity of trying to hit the trap card. Sadly, we have two Karma Cannon in hand, because like, that's a pretty good trap to hit off those. Uh, but they have Cosmic, Bonfire, Cosmic, Bonfire, Flame Burge. Okay. Uh, I actually like the co Cosmics are really good against this deck. Specifically specifically against the Furniture, it's really good too. Uh, now Bonfire, Snake Eye Ash, grab out Poplar. Uh, Poplar Effect, Special Summon Out. Poplar Effect to go search. Okay. Grab out Divine Temple. And then we're going to go activate Divine Temple. Bring out Oak, Snake Eye Ash Effect Sense. I wonder when we're going to Chandelier Backjack. They bring out Flame Burge there, and then Link off up in the IP. Now Effect, Spell Trap Zone, Special Summon back out from the Graveyard. And then Oak Effect, Summon out Poplar. That's fine. Make Appalooza now. Uh, Oak Effect, Summon itself plus Flame Burge. Summon out Flame Burge. Flame Burge Effect, Spell Trap Zone IP. And then we just go Set Cosmic. Uh, then Pass. Yeah, they, I mean, it's like okay to keep a Cosmic in hand. Like, sure to try to play around, I guess, evenly more. Uh, but it's not like, you know, if the opponent drops furniture, I guess maybe the fear is they go end of main phase one, activate furniture, and then you don't want to appo it because then you play in the rock. So then you're like, sure, and then you just cosmic it. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess it helps play around a, a couple different things. Uh, they draw Welcome Labyrinth. So now go main phase, end of main phase. Flame Burge summon IP, IP effect, link off, make SP, and then Flame Burge effect, special summon back out from the graveyard, Oak, Poplar, now Oak, Poplar, grab out Snake Eye, Ash, go search the original Sinful Spoils, yeah, and now they're just gonna go normal summon out Ariana, Ariana effect, Appalooza to negate it, resolution anything, nope, make Sky Crisis, and then go Battle Phase, attack into the SP, beat over it, main phase 2, Oh, a little misclick on the Karma Cannon there. Awkward. Uh, now they're going to go ahead and activate Cosmic to hit the Welcome. Wait, oh, that's not Welcome. I thought that was the Welcome. Okay, so it hits a Karma Cannon. Sure, but we still have a Karma Cannon plus Welcome. And also, since they Cosmic the Karma Cannon, now, you know, that was the one trap that they knew. So at least that got hit. Pass, draw Jet Synchron. Also, something that we could have done that we didn't do is maybe we should have activated Sky Crisis Effect to bounce. Maybe. Because if you go Sky Crisis Effect... Oh, let me think about it. Because you go Sky Crisis Effect to bounce, the Appalooza negate it, you change Chandelier, discard, go set trap, 
and then you get backjack effect to look at the top three cards. They might Appalooza that, maybe, but if they Appalooza it, that's their last negate, so then they can't stop the effect of set. Well, then the effect of set off the top is a gamble. I don't know. Could be a weird scenario, but they decide to not go for it. Just hold the chandelier back jack for the opponent's turn. So I'll link off, make Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, now they're going to go Poplar onto Nightmare Phoenix. A Nightmare Phoenix effect on the Karma Cannon. Then Chain Karma Cannon uh, to go ahead and set the field. Chain Cosmic on the Welcome. Chain Welcome, bring out Ku Clock. The reason why they chain is because of its big Welcome or Welcome. Then there's summoning, and then Karma Cannon's going to go ahead and set it. So, that was pretty well played with that Cosmic there. They said, I still draw. Yes, 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 you still draw. If you read it, it says, if this card is co-linked when the effect was activated. Uh, that's why if you chain, like, an effect to pop this, it'll still draw. Uh, they draw Talons, uh, Spell Traps on Flame Burge, Divine Temple effect, Summon Out Flame Burge. Uh, which I know, like, all Flame Bridge wasn't in the spell in Trap Zone when that happened, but that doesn't matter because Divine Temple was already, like, activated and resolved there. Uh, so this was there to go ahead and bring that out. So now Normal Summon out Snake Eye Ash effect. Go search out Poplar. And then activate the Poplar effect. Special Summon out from the hand. Okay. That is fine. And now from here, uh, they're thinking about what they want to do next. Uh, they're going to go up into a princess with those three. Okay. Flame Burge effect. Summon back out from the graveyard. The Poplar and the Oak. And then the Oak effect. Summon back out. Never mind. We just add back Poplar. We decide we don't need that extra body. Princess bring out Flame Burge. So obviously if we're adding back and not special summoning, we've, you know, thought through the play. Uh, make Raging Phoenix, World Sea. And then on Summon of World Sea, we're thinking, but they said that's fine. World Sea effect to move things around. Uh, Ku Klux set, Typhon, and attack. Sure. Princess effect, pop Ku Klux. Oh, sure. Because it's XYZ summoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. So summon out Princess. Raging Phoenix summon itself out. Battle phase. And then uh, they said battle phase is fine. So now they're going to go ahead, beat over Sky Crisis. Uh, attack. And then they're going to go Chandelier, Discard, Go Set, Big Welcome, and then activate Ku Clock Effect. Uh, that will go ahead and summon itself out as a body to try to block. So now it's like we can activate World Sea Effect to try to pop both of these. And then it's really just Backjack and Prey. Yeah. Backjack, Banish, Hits Trap Trick. Okay, okay. Now we can go activate Trap Trick. Well, I guess we can wait and try to go for a big welcome. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, no, we're just going to go for punishment. Sure. So, take the 27. So, we're going to stop the 3,000 by dumping Tri Brigade then. So, dump Tri Brigade, pop Flame Bird, uh, new Chain Link, Tri Brigade Chandelier. So, dump Garua, add back. Garua affect the draw card that draws into a lady there. All right, all right. Uh, so still in this game, we already used Chandelier effect this turn, so we won't be able to use it again. Uh, but now go main phase two. Yeah, we didn't play in the talents at all, so that's not like a worry. Uh, now they're gonna link off, make Sunlight Wolf. And then Jet Synchron effect. See, imagine how much better this would be if we just drew an Ash Blossom. Get to add back Ash Blossom here. Discard Poplar, summon out Jet Synchron, Sunlight Wolf effect to go ahead and add back. And then they said okay. Uh, adds back the Nightmare Phoenix to the extra deck. Sure. That's fine. Now make a Anima. So that way we can make a Selene play. Or we go Dark Charmer. Well, I guess there is no Selene play. We don't have a Spellcaster in rotation. Okay, Dark Charmer, Dark Charmer effect. Summon out Ku Clock. I think we're just going to hold that Ku Clock hostage, to be honest. I think that's our goal here with that. Um, so now they're going to activate Original. Send Dark Charmer. Bring out Snake Eye Ash. That's fine. And then just pass turn. Activate Lady effect that we drew off the Garua. And then try to pass their thinking here. I mean, they have big welcome. That could banish to bounds. But 
It doesn't really do anything at this point. Well, I guess you could do it now. I was thinking, because, like, technically you bounce back your Ku Clock and then have Big Welcome live on your next turn. Okay, but they decide, they decide to not do that. Uh, they draw on the butler. Yeah, no, it, it could have definitely done something there, but they decided not to. Uh, switch lady to attack. Uh, normal summon out chandelier. Battle phase. Beat over snake eye ash. Beat over Ku Clock. Chandelier. Get rid of itself. Plus butler. And then go set. So we're going to go set welcome labyrinth. And then activate Ku Clock effect. Add itself back to hand. And now activate Ku Clock hand effect. And now we have activate welcome. So now welcome. Well, okay, okay, yeah, chain lady, chain lady. I was gonna say because we can go ahead bring out lovely. Lovely gets to beat over the world sea. So set karma cannon. Bring out lovely. Nah, they're getting cooked hard right now. Actually, we're gonna big welcome to bounce back world sea. Okay, and then we would get lovely effect to go pop. Wow, 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 wow. GG, same account. They just got smoked. I'm not even going to lie. They just got smoked. Actually, I'm curious on how long that match was, too. Okay, about 40 minutes. Uh, but now we got Red Duck again versus Sean Killian. And Labyrinth wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And they decide to go first. 41 versus 42. Opening hands, we have Ariana, Imperm, Nib, Pot of Prosperity, Karma Cannon. They have Imperm, Valor, Jerusalem, Black Witch, and Cross Out. So, go main phase. Activate the Pot of Prosperity to go ahead and banish 6. And then look at the top 6 so we can see some Unchained stuff. It doesn't mean they play the Unchained package. It could just be the Extra Deck package that they play. Um, but now go ahead. Banish. Okay, I mean... You could grab Chandelier. I feel like you want to grab Engine here, right? Because Warlords is like... It's tempting. It's very, 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 very tempting to grab Warlords. But I feel like you probably just grab Chandelier or Welcome. We just grab Warlords? Okay. I guess... I guess maybe I was just thinking about it wrong. I mean, this is just a starter at the end of the day. Like, Imperm, Valera, sure. We're gonna go set, pass, flip Warlords. Like, it's, so, it's such a good card. It's such a good card. Uh, they draw Wanted. Activate Wanted. Grab out Black Witch. It's kind of like Runic Stun. Like, I mean, Skill Drain Warlords are practically just starters. But summon out Black Witch. Black Witch effect. Set original. Flip Warlords. Battle Phase. Beat over the Ariana. Set Imperm. Cross out. Pass. They draw Lovely. Yeah, now it's just a. Uh... Oh, they draw. No oh, they play multiple Druids from in their deck. Crazy. Attack with 25. And then pass, draw Labyrinth, Labyrinth, activate Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Okay, that works. Because, you know, if we activate a non-Labyrinth normal trap card, then we get to summon out a Fiend from the Hand or Graveyard. So now our Ariana is going to be coming back out. And that's Furniture. Furniture discard lovely. You know, we're, we're going to start moving. Uh, attack with 25, okay. And then main phase 2. Uh, they're going to go tribute set Jerusalem, sure. Then activate Jerusalem. Onto the Ariana, so banish, special summon out. Yeah, they want to get rid of that so that way Labyrinth Labyrinth won't be able to special summon it back out, which is a pretty good play on their part. Draw Trap Trick. Uh, so now we're going to go set Trap Trick, pass. They draw into Rock, flip Druus Worm, battle phase poke. We're going to go Karma Cannon, and then Labyrinth Labyrinth, summon out lovely. Uh, they're going to go Imperm onto Lovely, which will now shut down the Warlords. Yup. And then flip Druus Worm. This one can be flipped, this one can't. And then they're thinking they're on that flip, but they said that is fine. So now original, send Druus Worm, bring out Snake Eye Ash. And then they're going to go Snake Eye Ash, Druus Worm, Chain Imperm, Chain Cross Out, Calling Imperm. So send the Lovely. Out the Imperm, get to go ahead, search for Poplar, uh, Poplar effect, special summon out, Poplar effect to go search, and then that's going to grab out the Divine Temple, okay, but the thing is, Rock is live since Warlords is shut down, Wanted, put back, draw Flame Burge, okay, activate Divine Temple to go play Snake Eye Oak, uh, Snake Eye Ass on itself, plus Oak, bring out Flame Burge, uh, Flame Bridge effect, the spell trap zone, lovely. 
you know, just pretty much just, you know, once again, trying to shut that card down. Last time we ended up summoning it out, but, you know, you could also just leave it here for, like, ever. Uh, this can also destroy one card on the field, by the way, so, like, you know, if we don't out Labyrinth Labyrinth, I guess eventually they could get back to their lovely. Uh, but now they're gonna go Nightmare Phoenix, and then Nightmare Phoenix, Flame Bird, so we're gonna try to pop the last back row card. Sadly, it's Trap Trick, which is, like, the worst card in the game, the Nightmare Phoenix, because it just turns into a different trap card. So they're going to set Big Welcome, Summon back out, Oak, Ash, Oak, Special back out, Poplar. Then they're thinking here, they're just going to go drop Rock onto the field. And they pretty much just know that they've lost the game at this point. Uh, pass over the token, Poplar effect, Spell Trap Zone, the Flame Burge. Yeah... Yup, me, like, uh, I don't, maybe we should have done that before, prior. We also could have Divine Temple to summon out Lovely, and then that gives us Dark Charmer play there. But we didn't do that. So now we just pass. I guess the Dark Charmer play wouldn't really work, so just big welcome to summon out Lovely from the graveyard whenever you target it. Uh, we're going to go for Ariana, so it's sec. Yeah, we're going to field to pop your Flame Burge. Oh, we popped their Flame Burge. Okay. Uh, but going on to the next game now, we will see Sean Killian go first. Opening hands, we got Lovely, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, Big Welcome, Welcome, Phantasmia. Oh, thank gosh we have Phantasmia. This hand has some, you know, not great card in it. And this, this is like this is like fine with how the hands is looking right now. They have Flame Burge, Bonfire, Snake Eye Ash, Moonlit, Valor. It's now normal summon that Snake Eye Ash. Effect, go grab out Poplar. And then Poplar Effect, Special Poplar Effect to go search. Yup, grab out Divine Temple. And then activate Divine Temple. Go place Oak, Sneak Eye Ash Effect, Sun, Sun. Bring out Flame Burge. Now link those off into IP Mascarena. And then New Chain Link. We're going to go Flame Burge, Poplar. We said okay to that. I guess it's like a little bit risky in case they go for Appalooza, but there's also a chance that they just... Oh, we spell Trap Zone Oak, and then we go in the Princess. Now we're going to go Princess Effect, Summon back out Flame Burge. Flame Burge Effect on the IP. Now link off into Raging Phoenix, World Sea. World Sea Effect to move itself. Uh, but they said Think. Okay, we're going to drop Phantasma. And then draw Chandelier. Back Jack! Put back Lovely... Nah, those draws are crazy there. They're gonna go Princess, Divine Temple, so bring out Oak, Pop, Special Summon out Princess, and then we can get Oak Effect to Special Summon back out, Raging Phoenix Effect Special back out. So now we have Heat Soul 2. Maybe we should have dropped Phantasma earlier. There's actually a lot of extra bodies. Oak, Sun, that can bring out Flame Burst, so we can still bring out IP on their turn whenever we want. Uh, then we're going to make Anima, and then Link off to make Dark Charmer. Dark Charmer effect, go take Phantasma. Sure. Are we just going to make Appalooza now? Or, okay, activate Bonfire. I guess we could still go for Selene and just use Valor from hand to make it. Make Selene, effect gain counters, summon out Valor from hand. Yeah, and they said, wait... Wait a second, we're gonna go Chandelier, discard itself, plus back jack, go ahead, set big welcome, technically it's in this one, by the way, then set big welcome, back jack effect, look at the top three cards, put trap trick to the top, back jack effect, to go ahead, hit trap trick, trap trick effect, and they said G, G, they said G, G, cause that, that, that is ridiculous there. That is crazy just setting the field. That's Flame Burge set. Zelantis gone. Selene gone. This set. All I have is Divine Temple Summon IP with set bodies that you can't link away with. The opponent has Big Welcome that can start playing. Wow. Wow. Maybe, I mean, me personally, me personally, I'm not admitting defeat there because you just gave up when there's $100 on the line. You know, but, wow. Okay, GG. Said send to Bill Way. They said, ye, have a good night. Okay. Wait, they said, ye, have a good night. KK. Oh, they're saying, 
KK to that. I was gonna say, should have said, have a good night back, gosh darn it. But okay, now that's going to be it for the Iron Man. Wow, so we saw a Labyrinth end up popping off there. I mean, we've seen Labyrinth pop off a little bit recently. Got second place of YCS Raleigh. Uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure they were the only Labyrinth in top cut. Uh, but they, you know, made it very deep into top cut. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. They, I mean, to be fair, also like their top eight and their top four matchups were like, I think it was like top eight and top sixteen matchups were fairly good for them because they played against Runic Stun, which this deck can definitely beat with like Eradicator and stuff. And the top eight they played against Snake Eye, but without hand traps, only board breakers, and like you know the. Like, the board breaker type cards are probably a little bit worse than the hand traps. And there wasn't, like, a disc patter combo in the deck, I'm pretty sure. Uh, disc patter definitely can hurt this deck if it gets off. But, all right, all right, all right. Either way, either way, either way. We saw Labyrinth pop off there. Honestly, that, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, Karma Cannon, broken card. Weird. But, with all that being said, the DV Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.